everybody. Welcome. Andrew Ainsworth Golf Academy. As always, a warm welcome to you. Thanks for tuning in watching my video today. Product review. In fact, today I'm going to be talking all about balls for you. In fact, Bridgestone balls is the subject. Just received the new Bridgestone stock and there's some old favourites from last year which are carrying on. We've got the, uh, the B330 RX, which is a really tour calibre golf ball for swing speeds of a driver below 105 miles an hour. That's me. Um, and then we've got the B330S, which is for which is to a spin above 105 miles an hour of club speed with a driver. Definitely not for me. But the balls I want to talk about today is this one. This is the E6 Soft. This is the straight distance, which is brand new for 2017. We've got the E6 Soft, which I'm going to be doing a little review on today. And then we've got the E6 Speed, which I'll put up in a little while. So let's tell you about the E6 Soft. Just reading straight off the back of the cover here. We've got flight stabilizing dimples. We've got a soft armor cover. Anti-side spin mantle, sounds good to me, and straight soft core. These two balls are really designed to perform in very similar ways from what I can understand. What it boils down to is just the feel. Some people like a soft feeling golf ball and some people like a slightly firmer. So if you like the soft one, this is the one for you. Now I'm going to go and do some testing next door. I'm going to hit some wedge shots and I think I'll hit a few drives as well. I've already been on the putting green with these two golf balls. Very, very noticeable the feel between the soft and the straight distance. You can hear it and you can feel it at the same time. So let's go over into the hitting area next door. Come with me and we'll hit some shots and we'll get some data and we'll tell you a little bit more about the Bridgestone E6 soft. Okay folks, over in the hitting area, ready to put these Bridgestone E6 soft golf balls to the test. Let me tell you a little bit where I am. I'm on the ninth hole at the Belfry and I've got 127 yards to the flag. As you can see it plays a little bit uphill, there's not an awful lot of green between that bunker, front trap, here, and the flag, so it's got to be a pretty precise shot. So let's go, let's hit a couple of shots. I need a ball here that's going to stop pretty quick. Let's hit a couple and see, see how we go. Strike was a little bit on the thin side, but should be okay. It's on the green and it's stopped 127, bang on yardage. Going to hit a few shots here and then we'll bring up the data and have a little look feel. This is really what this test is all about. Does this ball feel soft off the club face? It certainly does. Let's hit another one. Could be quite good. Just over the flag. Nice. A little bit of spin on that one. 130 yards of carry on that. We'll go one more and then we'll bring up the data on screen. But um, yeah, feels really good. Needs to come back that one to try and... Yep. Oh, nice. Not that one to about four feet. Okay, so three shots there. Some data which I'll flash up on the screen. We'll get a bit of a close-up image on and we'll talk about what we think of it. Okay, let's go and uh, have a look at the data. So that's the wedge testing done. Remember we've got some driver testing to do in a minute. Three shots which you saw there. Let's have a quick look at the numbers. The spin's the thing I'm interested in. Very consistent on the backspin rate here. 61.90, 60.31, 62.77, giving me a backspin rate of 61.66 with a wedge. Uh, with a launch angle of 23 and a half. Remember, I'm a pretty low ball launcher, folks, so um, I maybe don't generate as much backspin as, as other players would. How does that compare? Um, I guess, you know, remember this is not an ultra high spinning golf ball. You know, it'd be interesting if we did this test with a Pro V1 or one of the Bridgestone tours and, and saw it compared, but that's enough spinning for me to control the ball on landing. You saw the ball was kind of pitch and stop. I kind of prefer that to a shot which is going to pitch and then zip back 
you know, five, six, seven feet. Um, hard to legislate for that, isn't it? But a ball that just pitches and stops, fantastic. So consistent on the numbers, 127, 129, 124. How did it feel? Felt great. Felt exactly how it should do, which was nice and soft off the club face. Liked it a lot. Let's go and uh, whack a few drivers, shall we? Let's uh, open the shoulders up. Let's get out there and, uh, and hit some shots and see what driver numbers we get. Okay, back to the hitting area and I'll see you in a bit. Driver testing is done. Got three shots for you here just to have a quick look at. I was using a 10 and a half degree driver with a stiff shaft in there. Club speed was averaging 105 miles an hour, which is about me, probably maybe a little bit above average. And uh, just had lunch, I was feeling fully fully fueled after a lovely chicken and avocado sandwich and that must have given me an extra few miles an hour club speed I reckon. Spin rate, that's the interesting number with drivers these days, we're looking for this sort of high launch, low spin combination, average 13.3 degree launch angle, it's pretty good for me of a driver and I got a backspin rate of 24.31, again very good numbers giving me a predicted carry of 262 yards with a predicted run out of somewhere around 285, 290, dependent on ground conditions. So what do we think of the Bridgestone E6 soft golf ball? I think it's a great all-rounder. It gives you a little bit of everything. It gives you some feel. It's soft. It seems to be good distance. It seems to be pretty stable in flight. You know, don't get me wrong, folks. All this marketing stuff about you know, a golf ball going straighter. You, if you put a bad swing on it, if you snap hook one or you slice one or you swing past 10 degrees out to in with a club face that's four degrees open to the path, there's no golf ball in the world gonna save you. You know, let, let's put that on the table. But I think there are things which golf balls can do to enhance spin, take spin off, make it a little bit more stable. But I think we should just take things that golf ball manufacturers say to us with a little bit of a pinch of salt. I mean, it's a marketer's dream, isn't it, a golf ball? And we shouldn't get too sucked into it. But that's not to take anything away from the Bridgestone golf ball. It's very, very good. It's reasonably priced. Um, in this country, in the UK, I think it's going to retail for a dozen, somewhere between £25 and £30. That's where I would see this on the shelf. Love to know what this will retail for in the States. So if anyone could uh, let me know, that would be most helpful. Anyway, thanks for watching my video today. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Just click on the, the button down below and I'll be back soon with more videos. All the best, have a good day and bye for now.